Hello, uh, welcome to the class of image search. I'm uh, Sung Hee Yoon, who is the main instructor of this course. Uh, I'd uh, before I talk about the, our main topic, I'd like to introduce myself to you. Uh, I joined the KAIS as 2007. I work on the different topics of the image search, and fortunately, I I made uh, I had actually had some lots of recognition. Uh, some of them actually I organized tutorial on image search at CBPR, which is the main computer vision uh, conference. As I work with their different company like Adobe and Naver for their uh, uh, for using their for uh, 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 for using their image search for their uh, some of the work. Also, their, uh, I produce some uh, professor on image search. So basically, the main reason why I'm talking about this one is that I wish that you agree that I'm the qualified to give you the, the lecture on image search to uh, excellent student like you. And if you're interested, you can also the, uh, uh, go over the, some of my paper and video by clicking this, this link. And currently, I'm mainly working on the design, scalable, the ray tracing, and image search and motion planning in across the graphics, robotics, and computer vision. But in, uh, basically, the, I, uh, I will teach, uh, I will actually, the, uh, I will teach the, uh, this image search course based on the, this, the, some of my prior experience on the, the manual image search and some of the related topics. Uh, as I mentioned, I work with some of companies. Actually, the, I, I actually, the, I work with some of, uh, some of my students and then uh, actually the, we were able to generate we were able to generate this kind of the, uh, uh, image search results given the, this uh, query image in our uh, laptop in a very uh, uh, efficient manner. So basically the, for that case, it's about, the, uh, about four year old uh, uh, results, but actually uh, we used uh, some, of the, some of the recent uh, deep learning the, uh, image feature and uh, handle this uh, uh, about 11 million images. Okay, so there, uh, this is my basic information. Uh, I, I'm actually in the, the CS, CS building, uh, ECB uh, one. And uh, this is actually our this offline class time. I wish that actually the, we can, uh, once we are done with the, this coronavirus issue, and then we hope, I hope, I wish that we can get, uh, we, uh, sit together and uh, uh, at, at the class. So uh, in this course, we will actually focus on this, uh, uh, these topics, uh, these ones. First of all, we will actually ha uh, we'll try to get a basic understanding on the image and some of the related research techniques. And then uh, we hope that actually that we can uh, have the more in-depth technology by using some of the recent techniques and then uh, as a final project, you can uh, you will get the chance that a uh, chance to design a better technology of the state of the art techniques. So to think about it, how we can actually utilize some of computer vision and recent this the, uh, machine learning or deep learning techniques to improve the, this the, uh, image search or some of related techniques like the matching and many other ones. Uh, here I'd like to talk about the main idea of image search or the content based image retrieval. Basically, the image search nothing but uh, uh, one of simple form is that uh, <coughs> uh, given that this uh, given that this user in, uh, suppose actually this kind of user input, and then we want to identify the some of the similar or uh, uh, visually similar or, or semantically similar images, and then to do that actually there will be the many these the image in the kind of web scale in the database, and to con perform this the image search we usually. Uh, uh, we, we cannot usually use the uh, RGB image directly since actually those RGB uh, data actually vary a lot depending on the, the illumination and your viewing angle. So we, usually we uh, use uh, some sort of this uh, uh, image, uh, image descriptor. Back then we used to manually craft this uh, image descriptor like the SIFT. But recently we are more commonly using actually this convolution neural lab based actually feature. And uh, when I actually the, uh, also the Google provide this kind of the, uh, uh, image search, for example, uh, you can also type the, some of the text, in this case Apple, also it provided this, the, uh, this image search based on this, the, uh, this text. It's not exactly the uh, content space, the content is the, RG, the, the, Im uh, the image information, but actually we do the, this kind of search based on the, this the text. Uh, but also the Google provides uh, this content-based image retrieval. So you can also the, uh, you can also the put the, this the image and then it also the, uh, 
conduct this kind of content-based image search. So you can see that actually this actually the I actually provide this image and then this actually search results. You can see that Google can do the, this uh, 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 can identify the web page that contains exactly the same uh, uh, or the uh, nearly duplicate uh, images. Uh, also, there are many other applications, right? Uh, uh, other than um, utilizing this kind of search techniques. I mean, there, if you uh, uh, if you try it out some of Google photos, there are actually there are many search functionality based on the, these different people and place and so on. Also, there we can also do this cross-domain image search. Sometimes, I mean, usually we provide RGB image and we wish that we can get some uh, other image, but some people can provide the painting and get the image. Also, there are some some also can provide this sketch, and then uh, we can also uh, return, uh, he or she may want to find some of the this the uh, photograph or something like that. Uh, not just image, we can also provide the, the text or some of the, the typical image and sketch and so on. So there, you can think about it uh, basically different actual user interaction between this the, between us and computer to realize the uh, uh, to realize the identify the the image or information that we want to get. Also, there are some of the companies uh, on the image search, but there are some of them actually mainly fo uh, focus on the uh, nearly duplicate image search, which is the, uh, very simple. Also, there I, I found that this actually some of the product search uh, available from the, this uh, snap, snap uh, fashion. It also, there, uh, it, it actually had this kind of the UI with uh, this color, uh, uh, color one. So if you actually there choose a proper color and then the this snap fashion identified some of product that have that actually had the that kind of color. Also, there uh, actually there uh, uh, many years ago, some of students uh, taking this course also that they get together and then also some of their uh, venture startup uh, uh, starting from the image search. Now actually they evolved into uh, some of the related uh, the topic based on the deep learning and uh, some of other uh, technology. There are many other ones. The stitch, I mean, the, uh, out of this image, we can also stitch, and then we can make this panorama. Uh, basically, to do that, we need to do, we need to able to identify the uh, this uh, corresponding match. Uh, also, there uh, we can also uh, there could be many different techniques to perform the this object detection. Also, we can do the we can we can realize this one based on image search. Also, the uh, uh, the other way or could possible we can utilize the this recent deep learning technique for the object detection utilizing for improving the quality accuracy of the, this image search. And also we can do the product image recognition, the landmark location detection based on the image search. Also you can also utilize the, the dedicated technique for this one for the, uh, imp uh, uh, improving accuracy of our image search. So bidirectional uh, uh, bi application possible from the, this, the image search and many other this, the, uh, uh, logging technique, detection technique for this kind of application. Also, the three D reconstruction. So basically, there here, uh, 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 that, uh, we can utilize, uh, for example, for this actually, the this actually landmark from the, the Colosseum, and a lot of people can uh, actually take they take a picture, right? And then we can also collect the uh, those kind of the arbitrary photo about this landmark, and based on that, we can also build a three D uh, 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 this a three D model of the, this the, uh, landmark. Uh, basically, there uh, uh, some of the techniques of image search are actually shared by this one. So basically, the main idea is to the search or matching the corresponding feature. There could be many other applications here. Actually, the given this input image, uh, also the provider uh, uh, she or he wanted to have the this the uh, curly hair version of this input image. So you can have the, this kind of one. This actually India style of this input image. So basically, the trans figure transfiguring the portrait. Also, we can do the, the time-lapse photography. Uh, we, can, uh, we can actually identify the, this, the, uh, some uh, images that are from the web uh, that are actually matching together. And then we can also the, we can generate this, the same scene with a different time one. So basically, we got the image from spring, summer, and night, fall, and winter. And obviously, we need to show the, this uh, smooth transition from here to there by utilizing this the matching between different features. So basically, the, uh, what I'm saying is that based on this visual search, we can do the actually many different applications. But also, I'm not the only one who uh, 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 think about this one. Actually, I got there this. I invited some of research from Adobe, and then they also actually the, uh, had a similar idea. 
basically their visual data will widely, I mean, getting more widely used in our daily life, right? I mean, the, we use cell phone to, uh, to very easily capture their, the image and video and share them through the these, their, uh, different these, their websites. And uh, basically, there, uh, there are high demand to utilizing those kind of applications, uh, that the uh, images and video. And then also, there, we can think about a very interesting application. Uh, also, there, to, do, to realize the interesting application, uh, we need to be able to very efficiently process those kinds of a lot of the, the images. So it actually brings a lot of technical challenges. So we hope that in this class, we can also there, tackle some of the these uh, uh these issues by which that you can do the you can do, you can actually design some of techniques to address some of those issues. Uh, actually, the, I uh, I showed this. The, I, I mentioned that I searched the some of relevant in, uh the website containing this the, my uh a uh, uh, folder, but also the Google for, uh, Google search also provide this visually similar images actually. But actually, when I click the, this uh, this button, I mean the, they identify the visually similar images, but they're uh, 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 some people they they could be the visually similar, but to me they are not really visually similar. So what I'm saying is that depending on your application, there could be the uh, uh, there are a lot of room that we can improve further. Also, it takes some time to get the data, process them, and identify the this image. Also, I uh, uh, in this case also that I provided uh, uh, I put the this the uh, Apple Tower image. And somehow there this Google actually very accurately met, uh, uh, record, uh, recognize this image as the Eiffel Tower and also uh, identify the relevant image. But also but when I uh, uh, also click the, when I identify this the visual similar image, they can actually the, uh, 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 search the uh, retrieve the very sim visually similar image. But when I try out some other ones, uh, I, I forgot that this, this might be the some image uh, some image uh, showing the some of the landmark in China. And as basically, Google just said it's landmark, and then when I click the visually similar image, so it, uh, some of them may be the visually similar, but actually, uh, I, I, I initially I reached that to identify the exact same the landmark uh, with, a di uh, with a different illumination and weather, something like that. But there, in that sense, it didn't uh, provide that image. Okay, so, so far I talked about some of the applications, and then there could be there a lot of the te technique and topics that to uh, 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 realize those kind of applications. Uh, but uh, here, uh, I'd like to talk about this prerequisite to uh, take the discourse. Basically, there, uh, we, we require you to have some of the basic knowledge of the, the, some of the mass linear algebra data structure and some of the, this prior, some, uh, some uh, 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 experience on the, this program. But actually, they also we expect you to have the basic knowledge on the machine learning and deep learning. So unfortunately, in this course, actually this is a kind of research-oriented course. So there we, we cannot we cannot I, I cannot give you the very detailed uh, explanation about the basic deep learning. So basically, the I assume you know the the uh, basic deep learning. You need to be able to modify it uh, for your own application. Actually, so if you're unclear, uh, you can also send me an email. So basically, this is a research-oriented course. So the, this general, the, this general structure of the, our course. So this, uh, uh, I will give the help. Uh, uh, I will give the lecture before the midterm exam, and after uh, midterm exam, basically you, uh, you need to actually present the, this, the, some of the papers. And uh, basically, the, this is the main activity that you need to do in this course. So you need to also the, uh, for your presentation, you need to choose the paper and present them, and then also the. Based on the, this, the, uh, your experience on the reading the paper and presenting them, I wish that you can get some idea and hope that you can propose ideas that can improve the state of the art techniques. Also, there will be some of the quiz and midterm final, uh, final time exam. It's grading policy, but the, the most important one is that basically the, uh, your this, uh, uh, this uh, paper presentation, also the final project, those actually takes about the 60% or, or, uh, or the 70%. And uh, also, this the for the uh, pa paper presentation of uh, also final project. Basically, the, uh, uh, me and uh, these other fellow students will evaluate the, your presentation and project. So basically, the, I will get this fifty percent. Also, the, I, uh, I will give the, this the, uh, uh, other uh, fifty percent for the, this, uh, 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 to the other students. So basically, the bottom line is I wish that you can uh, uh, prepare your presentation not not for me. But for your fellow students, so that actually you can get the better understanding on the related topics. 
Uh, basically, there are, uh, <coughs> Uh, it seems it's, uh, it, it seems like the actual which student uh, uh, need to present about two talk, and in each talk you can just uh, present about uh, this uh, one paper. Many talk about one paper, or talk about some of the uh, related techniques. For final uh, project, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, I wish that you can propose some of ideas, address some of the uh, those problems identified from the your paper, uh, your paper chosen paper, and. So you need to show the some benefit of your idea and how your uh, you need to explain us how you can, your idea can improve the state of the art techniques in a logical manner. So implementation of your idea is not really required, but actually there are a lot of papers uh, at the vision field. Actually, uh, they come to with their uh, uh, this their uh, uh, code. So uh, uh, I think that in most of case, uh, this many uh, virtually all of students actually downloaded those available source code and then. They try out their uh, their, uh, uh, their own idea on, uh, on top of the those available source code. So basically, there each uh, uh, I recommend you. Uh, uh, it will be better for you to find the paper and uh, that comes with their, this their, uh, uh, some of the source code so that you can easily try out your idea on top of the uh, that uh, code. Also, team project is a lot. Uh, but actually, the whatever you do, the role of each stu uh, student should be very clear. And also, there to encourage you to give their good uh, talk and the project. We will pick the best speaker and best project award, and obviously, high a higher grade will be given to the members of the, this best project. There will be some of the uh, problem assignment. Also, there uh, this is our late policy: no score for late submission. Uh, the bottom line is to just submit your work before deadline. So basically, I wish that you can respect the deadline, uh, not just for this course. But a, a lot of cases in our so, so, uh, uh, social activity, you know, the respect deadline is very important. So that's why I actually have this uh, uh, the policy. We will actually have midterm and final uh, final term exam. I will uh, uh, talk about this one later on as we close to the, this exam time. Also, there are some of the minor homework for every class. Uh, I wish that uh, there, so I I'd like to encourage you to come up with the idea. So basically, I actually have this one. Uh, you, you need to actually come up with some of the questions three times before the midterm exam and then submit them at the, this, the, uh, 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 some of the website actually. So uh, I will grade them based on the one or two, but the score is it, not really matter. Basically, I, I, I'd like to encourage you to come up with the idea. Most of the case, you will get, uh, 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 so uh, don't worry about this score, but the, I'd like to just encourage you to come up with the idea and the, that way, uh, we can get the. Uh, I can understand uh, uh, what are the actual clear point to you. Also, you can get the be better understanding on the topic. Uh, over there, uh, also there, uh, you need to actually present the paper, right? So to uh, pursue that activity, uh, you need to go over the recent paper on image search, and basically there you can find the papers uh, from the CVPR and also machine learning field, and uh, every week you actually find two paper and submit your summary before the every beginning of Tuesday class. On, on, you can do the online submission actually. You, uh, basically, the, you, can, uh, uh, you can also the, just go to the, my home, pa uh, home page, say, and then you can see the, this, the, uh, our course web page here. Then over here, this actually the uh, you need to come up. I mentioned that you need to have to come up with the question, right? This uh, online submission site here that are available at our course form page. If you click here, then you can see that this Google form. Uh, you can write down your name and ID, and you can also write down your question. And also there uh, below that, also you can see that this paper summary submission. Mm, this uh, basically uh, same same similar format. Uh, paper title, company name, and, and so on. So there, then you can also provide the sum of the, actually the, the summary of the paper. Yeah. Also, there uh, uh, basically the, there are not many people, so I think that there uh, you can do the solo project. But if you if you prefer to have the team project, uh, basically the uh, you need to think about it. The possible team member. It's a little bit unfortunate that you cannot see the other uh, other this uh, classmate here uh, uh, due to the coronavirus. But I wish that we'll think about how we can actually the, 
uh, who are the other fellow students who are attending uh, this course so that you can find some of teammates if you want to have a team project. Uh, the Beijing Honor Course. Uh, I, rec I encourage you to the collaboration, but the, all the assignments should be done uh, by yourself. If you are using some of someone else's code or the, uh, uh, some other materials, you need to actually cite and also acknowledge them. The basic class to match cat. So the, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, once we actually have this offline class, I will actually have this class attendance rule. If you late two times, actually I will count it as one absence. Uh, and every, uh, every two absents, I will actually the lower your grade. For example, if you got, based on all your score, if you got A minor, I will lower the, if you actually the, after two times, I lower the A minor to B plus. Uh, so basically, I will ch uh, to check your attendance, I mean, this is basically offline uh, setting, I will call your name, something like that. Further, this the online case, online case actually there. I will, uh, in the video, I, I might have actually some of the, uh, the this uh, survey form. So you need to write down your name um, uh, within the, this, uh, within the this, uh, different certain, certain time. I will actually give the link and then information at the video uh, here. And if you are uh, in, uh, in a situation where you should be, uh, you have to be late, then notify me all the, with this proper sum of that uh, document. Uh, there are also there, there are actually there uh, you don't need to buy any textbook but there are some of the available resource also that actually I am uh, I'm actually writing some ongoing draft on image search PDF files available it's, it's not really organized very well it's, uh, I would say it's uh, uh, more or less garbage but uh, you can you can get some of the information from here so for example if you go to the our course home page here uh, you can see that actually there are uh, the, my ongoing draft the here PDF. If I click the here, you can see there. You can get there some of the actually. I already updated this one, but the, uh, the uh, my P, the recent PDF was not uh, linked here. It's a little bit big, uh, but there you can also there identify there are some of the uh, related top. You can also there. Uh, you can see the more in depth information about our lecture material. Also, you can see the some of the uh, related topics actually. You can just scroll down here, you can see some of the information like this. Also, there are some other available the textbook is computer vision, it's a more of uh, uh, it's about more classical computer vision one. Uh, you can also access this PDF. There are many technical papers, the CBPR, IC, ICCV, ICM and URIS and uh, <laughs> uh, URIS. There are many related conference actually there. Also there uh, recent uh, recent day there are available this the you know the uh, uh, YouTube the uh, paper paper video right. Also the paper talk video you can actually identify them and some of the these paper available the computer vision papers are available here. You can actually click those the link. You can find some of the papers. And this is our course form page. Uh, we will. Uh, we will use the KLMS uh, uh, menu for the discussing and also the sharing the file. But as a backup, we will also share the, this file uh, at this home page. Uh, I will mainly use the English here. Uh, but there, at, at offline class, if you also there, you can also ask the co Korean question. But I will make sure that uh, after uh, uh, after having some dis discussion in Korean, I will make, I will try to make sure that we will have the English summary. And basically, there I wish that uh, throughout this uh, this semester and this course, I wish that. Uh, you actually follow up the lecture material and do the, these various class activity, including paper presentation, final project presentation, uh, project. And I hopefully wish that you can uh, this kind of activity lead you to the next publication related to the, this the topic or some of the related one. And also, I hope that you can also have the uh, make the this the, uh, better career like in other uh, uh, even including this topic. So, so far I talked about myself or this lecture material, I'd like to hear about yourself. So I'd like to hear about your name and some of your major. So you can do the, the online submission here. You click the uh, here. And, uh, uh, and then also you can provide this information. So uh, the, uh, the <laughs> our, our first class on the Tuesday. So please do that uh, within the within the Tuesday. Then it will be the counted as the, 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 you attend the, uh, attended this class. 
Okay, next time I will talk about the fissure detector. I wish that you maintaining the good health and I wish that I can see you the, uh, physically soon. Thank you.